Vivian of the Midnight Crafters here. And as you can see, I have not learned my lesson. I, uh, I went on a bit of a shopping spree while I was away. And uh, I bought more yarn. Um, I figured I had serious FOMO, so I didn't want to miss out on a lot of what was available. So I'm going to go through what I have and talk about it and try to catch you all up to tell you where I've been in the last uh, several weeks. Because I know uh, Elephant in the Room, I haven't been around for the last month. So uh, let's get into it. So I'm gonna do a bit of a yarn haul and chat. Let's start with this box from Premiere first. And as you can see, I got the new Neon Parfait Chunky. And I got like six of each color. Cause you know, I wanted to make sure I had more than enough if I did any type of project. This color is called Electric Lime, which I know many people have already gone over and reviewed everything, but it's my turn and this is my take on it. So here we are. And here we have this cute purple, it's called Proton Purple. And then we have this, ooh, neon orange. This is called Blaze, Blaze Orange. And these are the pinks, Neon Flamingo. And then we have, ooh, highlighter. It's a cool neon yellow. So jumping into it, where I've been. Um, I've tried to film this video a couple of times now. Um, these past few weeks, this past month actually, has been really hard on me. Um, I have been in a serious funk. Not necessarily a burnout. Um, I uh, I had to get some serious help uh, this past month for my mental health. Uh, being a new mom of two and trying to manage my business and trying to life in general really uh, was hard for me and um, it was found out that I uh, I was dealing with postpartum depression and anxiety I'm okay now uh, I'm doing much better this community has been here for me and it's so supportive and I thank you all for still sticking around even though i have been mia so i don't want to bring this video down too much but that's where i've been and um i go into more detail in another video that i filmed i may or may not release it here on youtube i might put it um on my buy me coffee uh page for anybody who wants to view it there because I really get really personal in that video. But I don't want to do that here and bring you all down because I usually bring you all the positive energies. So I'm going to keep doing that. But to sum it up, I am doing much better. I am feeling much better. And I am excited to get back into filming and sharing my life with you all and building up my small business. The Midnight Crafters is doing fine. We are um, taking a bit of a break from markets during the winter seasons. Uh, a lot of times markets are slow, so I don't typically do them in the first couple of months. I plan on jumping right back into market season in March. So I have plenty of time to market prep and get everything together while I am waiting for my next market opportunities. 
Little Midnight Crafter and Baby Midnight Crafter are doing great. Mr. Midnight Crafter is doing wonderful. Everybody is doing fine. Baby Midnight Crafter is currently sleeping. So I'm trying to get as much of this done while she is asleep. So let's continue. Got more yarn from Premiere. Uh, this one was just an impulse buy just because I wanted to get more basic Chanel colors. And of course, I wanted to get other yarns to try to make, um, well, I'll talk about it as I get through it. So I got this blue that I didn't get the last time. It's like bluish green, it's called Seafoam. And I got this one. This isn't the brights, but I wanted this blue because I wanted to make this ombre blue type striped animal. So I needed more blues to make it. So I got these to go along with the blues that I already have. So of course I got some more white. I'm using this white to actually work on the pattern test. That's why it's already open. I also got snow cone. So I got a little bit of the lemon. I think it's called lemon. Yep, lemon snow cone. And this one is called licorice. So the reason I got these is because I wanted to make some chickens with this yarn because it was extra fluffy. And yes, my chickens are usually adorable in their small form, but I wanted to do some bigger ones that are extra fluffy. So when you touch it, it's almost like feathery soft. So I got these colors to really give me like the chicky and then the actual chicken colors for those chicken designs that I have that I want to do. Yes, I have the Mabel pattern, but there are other ones I want to try. So I'm going to do that with these yarns. So be on the lookout for those. Of course, I got some black and my tried and true favorites, the Fashion Plus mystery bags. I'm telling you, they are $10 a bag. As you can see, this is very similar to the Michaels uh, Blossom. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember. But Michaels, it's usually $9.99. You get two of these for $10. And look at that, extra bulky, $10. Like, yes, the caveat is you don't know what you're getting, but $10 for these, 10, 10, $20 for four skeins, you can't beat that. So I see it as a good investment for anybody who wants to try it. In terms of keeping up with my goals, um, needless to say, my goals are kind of on a uh, back burner. My mental health had to come first. And I wanted to make sure that I took care of my mental before I tried to tackle any of the goals that I had in place. That's why a lot of the things that you're seeing happening now is more so of me taking care of me and then I'll worry about my goals. I gotta make sure my family's okay. I gotta make sure I'm okay. Um, but overall, I am still trying to work towards getting most of my goals accomplished. I have some that I can't do. It is it is what it is. So posting every week, I'm probably not going to do that simply because trying to pressure myself to get content out every week takes the fun out of it. And I don't want to take away the authenticity of who I am just so I can meet a meet a goal that I set if that makes sense but overall I am going to still do markets I'm still going to try to write my patterns I'm currently creating a pattern as we speak I should have something together pretty soon and hopefully you all like it and want to try it let me keep going through a lot of what I have here this bag, funny enough, I was going to Michael's to try to find the new yarns that they had, but the Michael's that I stopped by the first time didn't have it out. What they did have was the Chanel Home on sale for 
five dollars you thought i was gonna pass that deal up absolutely not i grabbed everyone that i could see that i needed and got it because it was five five dollars for this so i grabbed this color this is what color are you elderberry i got some more of the black and white tweed this is country blue i'm thinking of doing a couple of blue healers with this one so we'll see how that goes because i got two of these and then of course i got some more of the mustard yellow well it's just called mustard but you know it's like the golden color i might do chicken nuggets who knows we'll see but it, i'm thinking about doing some chickens with this one now this one here was not on sale this is dusty lilac but <laughs> i took baby midnight crafter with me to the store and she was just drawn to this color she just really liked it so of course, I had to get it because my baby liked it. And if my baby likes it, I'm gonna make sure I get it. Yes, I'm one of those parents. I need to do better, but not right now. Now, back to my life and life updates. I am full transparency. I am currently looking for a new job. It was one of those things where it was discussed back in last summer while I was pregnant that I would take the remainder of 2023 off while I was convalescing from pregnancy and birth. And then January, we would reevaluate to see if I would go back to work or if I would stay home and, you know, try to build up the Midnight Crafters, depending on how it did. Well, the Midnight Crafters is not where it needs to be to supplement my salary that I had while I was working. So I am looking to go back to work pretty soon. Um, it's going to suck not being able to work full time on the business that I am pouring so much into, but it's necessary. Like I always say, I put my family first. So I'm going to work on doing that. Midnight Crafters isn't going anywhere. I'm still going to try to work on the Midnight Crafters uh, in evening hours or a time where I have some free time. And I'm still going to do the best I can to build this business up so that I can uh, eventually have this be my primary source of income. Now, as you can see, I... I didn't want to miss out on the new yarn from Michaels. It had a bit of a FOMO. So I bought every new color that they had available. I know, the will is weak. This is probably why I have to go back to work because I have no impulse control. But <sighs> bad news for me, good news for you. This is the content that you all get from me. So. Let's go through what I bought. So, of course, I got the Sweet Snuggles. This color is the Pink and Purple Multi. I got two of these. Actually, all of the Sweet Snuggle ones, I got two of each because I wanted to make sure, because it's a small skein. If you look at the size proportions, this is 87 yards, um, 80 meters, 7.05 ounces, 200 milligrams. 200 grams of yarn. So it's not much at all. So I had to get two of each to make sure if I work on a project, I had enough. Let me compare it to, so this one is 109 yards, 100 meters, 8.8 .8 ounces or 250 grams. So Chanel Home Sweet Snuggles, as you can see, big difference in how much they give you. So that's why I wanted to make sure I had more than enough. Of course, I got the blue multi. I got the pink lemonade, everyone is calling it, but the actual color is yellow pink multi. Oh, these are just so soft. Oh my goodness. I got some yellow and green multi. 
I'm sorry. Yep, yellow and green multi. I got a bit of the mint multi. Oh my goodness. Oh, frogs are in my future with these. This is just so cute. I think I'm gonna pair it with a darker green and maybe make some axolotls as well. I really like this. This is, I found my new favorite mint multi. Oh, and this is the skinny Chanel everyone's been talking about, and it is really skinny. Like this is super thin. This is almost like worsted size. I got some worsted here. So this is the Whips and Thread Soft Classic, right? See that? And then we compare it to this. Yeah, see, it's about the size of worsted. Oh, baby midnight is. Baby Mad Crafter is stirring from my nap, so I'm going to go a little quicker here. So, other life updates. Not much, really. I've been focusing on my mental health. I've been working on bettering myself, taking care of Baby Midnight Crafter and my children, Little Midnight Crafter. This is Seal. Duckling. I think this is Tiger, no, Parrot. This one is Toucan, Jellyfish, Panda. This color is Hummingbird. This is really soft. Uh-oh. Baby Bit Night Crafter is awake, so I'm gonna have to come back to this. This is Piglet, by the way. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. It's a couple days later, needless to say. Um, I've been trying to film the second half of this video clip since Baby Midnight Crafter woke up from her nap and uh, it's just been getting away from me. But that's neither here nor there. I am getting back into all of the filming. So let's just pretend like this whole time skip didn't happen. And let's just pretend I've been wearing this the whole time. So back into, back into what we were looking into. I think I went over all of these colors. I think, did you see this one, Duckling? I think you did. And Toucan, and I know I covered Piglet. Yeah, I remember Piglet was the last one we talked about. And then this one, if I remember correctly, was Panda. Okay, you didn't see this one. This one, this color is called Flamingo. Kind of like Piglet, but a little deeper in the pink hue. So it gives you that variety. This would be cute together. But like I said, these are kind of like a worsted weight size. So it's like almost size four. So yeah, it is size four. I don't know if you can see, it says, it says size four medium weight yarn. So if you wanted to combine worsted weight with this, it might work. Don't quote me on that, but it might work. Here we have whale. So this is a cute whale color. Naturally, they would choose blue. And then this one is called bluebird. So really cute. These are all the ones I but as you can see from the skinny Chanel, I didn't get any of the fluffy Chanel. I might do that in the next go around, but I wanted to see about these skinny ones. And Elephant in the Room. No, I didn't get the new Joanne Big Twist Posh. I did go to Joanne and test it out to see if I would like it, but it reminded me a lot of Bernat Blanket Yarn. And, you know, I was underwhelmed by it maybe if they come out with more colors it'll be more appeasing to me but right now i was trying to get away from using that particular type of yarn like big twist posh it's just a skinny burnett blanket to me i know controversial but i couldn't 
I, if they wanted to gift me some, I would use it happily to try to see if I like it. But me spending money on it to test it out, I couldn't rationalize why to do it. This I could because I can make, you know, keychains with it. And it's the Chanel, the soft yarn that I've been trying to get into using lately. But, you know, the other yarn I couldn't really rationalize getting right now. But let's get back into life updates. Um, let's see. Well, a lot of big things are happening for the Midnight Crafters in the next coming months. As I've said before, I take the first couple of months off in the terms of getting out there and doing stuff for the Midnight Crafters, like markets, only because everything is slowing down from the holiday season and I don't want to financially invest in doing markets and events for things that people aren't really going to be a part of. So I really get started back up in like March, April, around that spring Easter time frame. And so that's what's gonna happen pretty soon. I've signed up for four spring events and I've actually signed up for a October event already. There's already an event that was ready for October 12th. So I've signed up for that. What else? Oh, be on the lookout for down the down the road I just got the email not too long ago that a a shop a boutique if you will that is around the local area is in, interested in me being a part of their boutique so I might be able to be a part of that pretty soon remember I talked about that what was it November and they want me to be a part of their springtime collection so I'll be getting things prepped and ready for that pretty soon. I'll give you more details as I get them. Uh, I also got accepted into a farmer's market. I'm really excited for that one because I applied for that last September, October timeframe, hoping that I could get in for this year and they accepted me. So I'm excited to see how that transpires and all that will take place with that. I will take you along on that adventure. <clears throat> Did you already see? You already saw these. You haven't seen this one. All right, so more of the fictional. This is the pink multi. And then I got some of the coral and pink multi. I got two of these actually. And then this is the purple multi, you know, I'm sure you've seen this multiple times, like I've said, but this is my review of the yarn. And I paid for it, so it's unbiased. I like I like thick Chanel yarn, so I'm really excited to see what I can make with these. I am really looking forward to using these springtime colors, actually. I have I have several uh, pattern tests that I'm a part of. One that's coming up really soon from All From Jade. Shh. I'm really excited for you to see that one. Once it's, if you follow my social medias, you'll see what it is pretty soon. I just finished up some pattern tests for Kokoro Crochet. I did the Macaron Bear. It's, I did a small version and then a bigger version. And I also finished up my pattern test for Comfort Cozy Nile Tree. And then it was a mushberry. Very excited for you all to see those. The macaron bear is available for you to purchase now. And by the time this video is released, the mushberry should be available as well. I'll let you know here if it is or isn't. Now, giving you some insights some more skinny Chanel. This one is called Froggy. Yep. Froggy. This is really cute. This one I believe is called Swan. This one is called Polar Bear. And then this one is called Starfish. <laughs> I see why they call this one Starfish. It's a very distinctive pink color. So good on you Loops and Thread for naming this one specifically that color, Starfish. And then this one 
is tiger fish yes this one i'm really excited to use this is the one that really got me interested in the skinny chanel when i saw it in the store well online and i was like i wonder what this would look like worked up i'm going to try to make some easter themed items and springtime items so i'm hold on a second so as you can see i have these easter eggs and they're little piggy banks and i thought they'd be really cute to make for markets and everything but i had to make sure that the items i made could fit inside and so i needed some yarn that would actually work up to make items that fit inside because the other yarns that i have like the um loops and thread the regular uh like sweet Suggles light and snow home slim they don't fit in here, they're too big. So I had to get something that was smaller that could actually fit. So I'm excited to use these to make items to fit into these little Easter egg piggy banks. What do you think? Are these cute? Were these a good investment? What else do you think I can make? I know I can make like uh, little birds and I can make rabbits. What other items could I make that could fit in here? Um, give me some ideas in the comments below because my my idea bank is running kind of short and I need some good ideas of what I can make to put inside of here. They're about six inches tall so it's got to be really small. I'll give you that's how big they are. So this is what I'm working with to see what I could put in here. I also have some bigger ones, but I'm not worried about those. These can fit in it. It's these specifically I want to put things inside of. But that's pretty much what's been going on here. I'm, as I said, I'm doing much better now. I thank you all for being a part of this community still and checking in on me. I had a person actually message me to check to see if I'm okay. I am and you all are the reason i keep coming back day in day out to produce these videos on youtube and on my social medias because i enjoy connecting with this community so thank you all for still being here and wanting to know what's been going on with me and being a part of it in the future we'll see how things go realize that my mental health has to come first and i have to realize that with that, I have to take care of myself. So I'm going to make sure that I prioritize my well being and my family's well being and still make sure I give you quality content in the process. So things might look a little different in the future, but these videos will still be coming out. I am not planning on going anywhere anytime soon. Be on the lookout for future vlogs and other how to's coming down the down the works. I'm also working on getting my blog updated so that you all have some additional content outside of these videos if you want. But yeah, I look forward to seeing you all in the future. So I'll see you next time. But until next time, goodbye, farewell, and please take care.